Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here in Apple with macOS Monterey broke an eight year tradition of making a nature themed wallpaper that started all the way back with macOS Mavericks, then Yosemite, then El Capitan, Sierra, Hi Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, and Big Sur, and they stopped with macOS Monterey by adding an abstract wallpaper that looks more like the Monterey Canyon here. A group of friends went on an expedition to make their own macOS Monterey dynamic background, and here it is. I'm gonna show you how to download it and install it next. Ever since macOS Mojave, Apple has included what is called is a dynamic wallpaper that changes throughout the days. And you can see here in the nighttime it's dark and then in the daytime it's bright. And they've included that since macOS Mojave. They added that with Catalina and macOS Big Sur. And as you can see, they added the Monterey abstract graphic in beta nine. But again, there's no nature wallpaper. So what's nice is that these guys went out here and picked this beautiful location with a lone tree on this rock on Monterey Bay. and they they stayed there for the entire day to film a full dynamic wallpaper that will change throughout the day. So let's get it installed. All we need to do is scroll down and I'm going to include a link in the description of a static wallpaper of just this image here and then the dynamic wallpaper. So let's try the regular wallpaper first. All you need to do is click on it, right click in the window or control click and click save as. It's going to go right into your downloads folder after clicking save. Once it's there, all we need to do is open up our downloads folder and then right click on or control click on the wallpaper, go to services and then set as a desktop picture. And let me check this out. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that's a static image now. What we want to do next is download the dynamic wallpaper. The first thing we're going to need to do is go into system preferences, go into desktop, select a dynamic wallpaper, make sure it's set as dynamic. Then we can go back to the page, click on the dynamic wallpaper, and then open up a new page. And then all we need to do is click on download here. Give it a second, and if you get a pop-up that says allow downloads, click allow, and it'll go right to your downloads folder again. Open up your downloads folder. Here is the HEIC dynamic file for the wallpaper. You can see it's 64 megabytes in size, high resolution. So to make that as the default dynamic wallpaper, all we need to do is right click on it, services, set as desktop picture. Give it a second and there it is. And it will change as the day goes on. As nighttime falls, it'll turn dark. As daytime falls, you'll see the sun come up. This is absolutely amazing. So let's test it out. So right now it's about 1.30 p.m. So you can see what the picture looks like. Let's change the time so we can see what it looks like. Let's go into system preferences and then we'll go in date and time, then authenticate at the lock. And then we can uncheck state and date and time automatically. Let's change it to five o'clock p.m. And hit save. Look at that, beautiful. The guys did an amazing job. This is a wonderful picture, and it's too bad that Apple didn't include it. This is an absolute amazing job by those guys, and I'm gonna put a link in the description to their website and their Instagrams. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a share, and if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And if you're a viewer or a subscriber, I really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.